hello and welcome to another video in this video I'll be showing you how to insert equations or formulas in Microsoft Office whether it's Microsoft Word Excel PowerPoint etc inserting formulas and equations is very important when you're writing a report or assignment it doesn't have to be math it could be business it could be economics you might have to insert the formula or equations in your report so let's go to Microsoft Word because it's easier to see what's happening there and let's start inserting equations and formulas so first we need to go to the insert ribbon you can see here at the far right we have equations and we have symbol if you want to just insert a symbol you can click here and choose the symbol that you want for example if you're doing a pi or you want you want to insert a mu you can click on more symbols to insert whatever symbol that you want but this will be limited to one symbol so instead i'm going to click on the equation and you can see that right away it gives me the equation dialog box or box here to enter the values or I'll start typing and of course we have the equation ribbon showing so let's explore this for a minute you can see here that we have some symbols like such as plus or minus not equal less than or equal greater than or equal you have the Greek letter that we use alpha beta sigma epsilon mu and so on on the right side here i'm going to explore a couple of things first fractions if you want to enter the fractions you click here and it shows you different ways of entering fractions and it shows a common fraction that are used in calculus for example if you want to insert script whether it's a subscript or superscript or both on either side if you're doing NPR or NCR for example in this here if you're inserting radicals whether it's the square root or cubic root or any n root um, if you're doing integrals if you're doing calculus whether it's a single or double integral or contour integral you can enter any of these you can insert a large operator such as summation or product unions and intersections you can insert that as sort of brackets to organize your data or if you have matrices which we're going to look at it at the end sine cosine if you want an accent such as x bar in statistics or hat or tilde or double bar for the grand mean if you want to insert limits or logs minimum and maximum if you have specific authors that you use in math or as I said if you want to insert a matrix you can insert an empty matrix with number of rows and columns you can use insert identity matrix and so on so I'm just gonna do a couple of quick examples for example if I'm doing hypothesis test in statistics and I want to enter the null and alternative hypothesis. So I'm going to go to script, choose the subscript method, move with the cursor or the arrow, H, zero. Make sure you press the arrow to go out of the subscript. And then let's say the null hypothesis is mu greater than or equal 23. And this is the null hypothesis. If, if I want to enter the alternative hypothesis, I will do the same thing. Subscript, you can copy and paste and change it, but I just want to show you the steps one more time. So H, press the arrow on your keyboard, each one. If I start typing now, everything will be subscript. So press the arrow one more time and put the column, then mu 
and it's going to be, let's say, less than 23. And I have the null in alternative hypothesis. If I enter or insert the test statistics formula, for example, which is Z equal X minus mu over sigma. So I'm going to choose fraction. And I'm going to go with the arrow to the numerator. I'm going to type X minus mu. Then I'm going to go to the denominator and I'm going to insert another fraction. And this time I'm going to insert this fraction. And I'm going to go to the first one to insert sigma, which is the standard deviation. And then with the arrow to the bottom one, and I'm going to insert radical, go inside and press N. And I have X minus mu over sigma over square root of N. If you want X bar, I can highlight X and go to accent and choose X bar from here. And you have X bar minus mu. Let's enter a couple of more formulas. Let's assume I want to enter a quadratic equation. So I'm going to type Y equal, let's say, 3X squared. So I'm going to just use the script and use the superscript. And minus 2x plus 3, for example. Let's insert more formulas or equations. And this time, let's assume I want to insert the sigma notation or the summation notation. And you can specify from, let's say, i equal 1 to n. And here I want xi, for example. OK. So again, you can look at any of these options, how do you insert them? With double subscript, with all the radicals, the large operators, bracket, you want to keep values within a bracket. And of course, the accent, we saw the X bar, you can have the grand mean, the X bar bar or double bar. You can have the hat for regression and correlation. and so on. Let's try to enter quadratic equation, sorry, trigonometric equation now. So let's assume I will enter sine square plus cosine square. I can go over here and here either I can type sine or I can go from the sine function over here. You can see we have the sine function. Okay, or better, I just can type it. So sine square, and I want alpha or theta or whatever letter you want. So this is theta plus another script. And similarly, I can type cosine square, then with the arrow, and this is theta equal one, for example. Or, as I said, you can just insert the sine and cosine from here. Sine theta or sine alpha or whatever sine that you want. You can insert the sine minus 1, the inverse trigonometric function.
and of course you can insert it as script if you want so I will type sign go here and type minus one then next either way it's correct so this is a pre brief summary of how you can enter equations and as I said this could be done in Microsoft Word in Excel uh, PowerPoint any Microsoft Office product because if we go to Excel for example you will see that I can insert and equation so the same way as insert equation in Microsoft Word I can insert it in Excel PowerPoint and so on thank you again for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel and look for more videos on Excel SPSS among other things